Hi. Hey, hello. Hello, Trey. How are you? I'm okay. I've been studying all day, so I'm like a little tired. Yeah, definitely. Toward the end of the day, you know, your brain kind of shut down a little bit and all. But I definitely do, yeah. So we're just going to wait for a couple more audiences to come and join us, and we can start. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to introduce myself real quick for those who haven't known me. My name is Willem Butchman. I'm currently a scholarship director for Halux Magazine. So what that does entail is I'm in charge of the scholarship aspect, but I'm also working with these uh, individuals who are so talented in their own way, uh, aka our mentors and so this week is our mentor week. Uh, what that means is we bring each mentor uh, from one of nine poetry medical schools across the U.S. and just really talk about you know certain topics um, uh, from from their uh, ex uh, experiences. So joining me tonight, our last night of the mentor week, we have Trey. Trey, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Trelora. Um, you can call me Trey. I went to Iona College. I just graduated this past May with a degree in biology um, and a minor in neuroscience. I played Division One soccer there, and I graduated with honors from the honors program. So that's just a little about me. Awesome. So where you, uh, which polytrick um, medical school do you go to right now? So I'm a first year at NYCPM in New York City. Um, yeah. That's exciting. I mean, New York City, why can't you ask for that, right? Um, so the topic for tonight is how to crush medical school interview. Let's take me back a little bit and the audience back a little bit. Uh, do you remember when you submit your first applications and, you know, when you get start getting the interviews, invitations and things like that? Yeah, so I actually did summer internship programs. Some of the podiatric medical schools offer the summer internship programs. So I did one at NYCPM and I also did one at Temple. And those are my two top choices of podiatric medical schools that I was applying to. So I actually did my Temple interview over the summer before I even sent in my podiatry school applications. So for anyone that is thinking about doing that or is interested in applying there that is something to consider and then um nycpm there was no summer interviews so i applied normally um i sent in my application pretty early around i think september 1st mm -hmm. and then i got an interview invite i think in the beginning of october because i had my interview mid mid-october awesome and as from the interview do you know how long you had to wait for the decisions um, so I actually, I only applied to Temple and NYCPM. So for me, it was about two weeks after my interview that I got the acceptance and the scholarship information. They were sent back to back. Do you remember the day you got accepted? Um, I don't remember the actual date, but I do remember like getting accepted. I like popped a bottle of champagne and like my friends uh -huh. made dinner and it was like really exciting because like. I'd already gone into Temple, but then like NYCPM was, I think, my top choice. So I was a little more excited when I found out that I got accepted here. So what about the NYCPM that draw you and your interest into it? Um, so for me, location was a really big aspect. I have family in Connecticut mm. um, and I have a lot of friends in the area. So I knew when I went to college, um, I thought I wanted to go far away and I ended up going really close to home, like 40 minutes away. And I really actually ended up enjoying that because it was far enough away that like my parents, like I didn't see them every single week, but I could go home when I wanted to and I could go see my dog. I love my dog. So like that was something that I knew that I wanted to stick with when I went to medical school, like have that, that support system. system. Yeah. <laughs> so I was only applied to Temple and NYCPM because I knew realistically like I wanted to be in an area close to my family because I knew I would need that during medical school. So that is an important tip right there. You know, location is super important when you pick and choose which medical school you want to attend. Um, so now let's talk about a topic for today, aka how to crush your medical school interviews. So now once you talk about, you know, get the interview um, invitations, what is your first reaction to it? Were you worried? Were you excited? How, how would you feel at that moment? 
Um, I would say I like had a moment of excitement and then I was like, okay. Okay. I think I paused. Oh, that's fine. Um, so I was definitely like really worried once my brain was like, okay, like now you actually have to interview, like you have to prepare for this. So I think I was definitely more nervous than excited. <laughs> The week, the week prior to the interview. I mean, that just sounds like a common trend for everyone who got like interviews. I'm like, oh my gosh, well, the program is really interesting to me, but now it's my job to really like prepare the best I could, you know, to impress the, the missions and and people um, at, at the school you're applying to. So uh, prior like a week or so, do you have any tips and tricks in order to you know uh, how how do you prepare for your interviews? Um, so for me, I think I reached out to a few people um, on social media that I knew either were going here that or who had, um, were going to different podiatric mm -hmm. medical schools and asked for their advice. And they, like, I think the biggest piece of advice they gave me was to look up commonly asked questions by whatever program you were gonna be interviewing at, and then prepare those questions in advance so that if you do get asked those questions on interview day, it's kind of like a nice, like, okay, I have this in my back pocket. Like, I know what I'm going to say for this rather than being caught off guard and not knowing how to respond to a question. That's important. So do you write out the questions that, that you uh, write the answers that you are uh, having in the questions? Or how do you prep, uh, like rehearse those? So, yeah. So I would say like, either asking students what questions they were asked or going on student doctor network. Everyone's like, don't go on that for anything, but for questions, for interview questions, that's the one thing you should use it for um, because it is relatively accurate. And I would say writing out your questions and for podiatry specific applications, your why podiatry is the most important thing. And you will get asked that at every single interview you go to. So you should have that in the back of your pocket to just like pull out because like, no matter what stage of the interview you're in, whether it's with faculty admissions, with a student, they're going to ask you why you want to go to podiatry school and not regular MD, DO, or any health school for that matter. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, those definitely why you're interested in medicine, why particularly podiatric medicine, and also why is that school? I think those are top three important questions that you want to know immediately. It's just not like, um, you know, take me, let me have a few seconds to think about the answer. So those three questions you have to like, is on tip of the tongue, really. Well, so what was the hardest question that you have in te a Temple and NYCPM that kind of like caught you off guard a little bit? And how do you respond to those difficult questions? Um, so I think the hardest question for me at NYCPM was like, they asked for my strengths and then they asked for my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And I think it requires a lot of reflecting to know what your weaknesses are and know like being able to explain your weaknesses in a way that doesn't make you seem like a bad applicant but that makes you seem like more human and like That's something that you can improve upon so i got asked what my big, biggest weakness was and i was in undergrad because i had a very solid gpa and they're like what were your weaknesses and i was like um I don't think about this one. <laughs> so that was definitely my hardest question. And how to answer that? I mean, now if if someone asks me for advice on interviews, I'm like, make sure you like know these things. Like these are big questions that you're gonna be asked, including like your extracurriculars and why podiatry and then like your strengths and weaknesses as an applicant. Right. So in terms of answering that, I think that just requires a little self-evaluation whether that's time management whether it's not being able to give yourself a break whether it's um i don't know a certain class that you need to work on like analyzing yourself and then being able to explain that in a way that's not like okay i don't know biology so like how are you gonna do med school if you don't know bio like being able to explain okay like I struggled in this one class because like I had difficulty understanding like specific cellular mechanisms or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that is important to recognize your weakness. And then, uh, but the more important thing is to have a plane able to come up and, you know, get yourself out of that rabbit hole and, you know, how, how you improve your bed and improve better and better. Um, <laughs> 
come from from there. So yeah, I totally agree with you on that. Um, do you have any like a ritual the night before the interview? Do you go to bed early? Do you avoid eating certain things? Do you, I'm just curious on that. Um. So. I have a very funny interview story at NYC. Oh, no, I can't wait. So I actually, so I got up very early. I was definitely nervous. I like did my hair and makeup, obviously have to look professional. And then I got on the train and I got on an express train to Grand Central. And like, we went by the Harlem station and I'd never been on a train before that didn't stop in Harlem. Oh, and so that kind of gave you a bit... And I literally, like, started crying. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I can say this now because it's funny. But, like, the day of, I called my mom crying. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be late. Like, now they're not going to want me. Like, this is so unprofessional. And, like, I only ended up being, like, 10 minutes late because I got up early enough beforehand. Uh -huh. And I had been to the school prior. It was, like, a train that got there one minute earlier than the other train was supposed to get there because the other one was delayed. And I was just like it happens, like, it's okay, like, they're not gonna hate me, like, you know what I mean, so. I mean, yeah. they can understand the situation, it's not really your fault, and you can't yeah. control, you know, which train going where, and things like that, so, it's, uh, it's just a little unnecessary hassle that you had to go through before the interview started. Yeah, so, I mean, it didn't have a bad impact, because I got in, and I'm happy here, I got scholarship money, so they didn't hate me, <laughs> so if that happens to anyone else, like, it'll be okay, like. Yeah, yeah there will be a rainbow after the rain, for sure. So uh, there was one question from the audience. Uh, it's from Melissa. She asked, uh, what classes do you take in your freshman year in college? So I went to a liberal arts school, and I was in the honors program there, so it might be a little bit different. But in terms of my science classes, I took Gen Bio with Lab and Gen Chem with Lab. And then my um, spring semester, I took, like, Bio 102 with lab and Gen Chem 102 with lab. So those are my only science classes I took freshman year. Um, and then I took, like, my honors humanities class that I had to take. And um, what was the fourth class I took? Um, I don't even remember, to be honest. It was a fourth class, though. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time ago, so I would remind you of that. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about the interview day real quick. So, so you come into the school and do you start off with the interview or do you give a tour? Like how does it work in, in, in YCPM? So at NYCPM, um, it started with, um, like a little presentation about the school, about student life, about, um, I, I don't know if they mentioned tuition at the beginning or end, but it's basically like a 10, 20 minute presentation about like student housing and like the school and the curriculum. Um, and then from there, we were taken to the foot clinic that's on site at the school. So like downstairs, basically. And we were like put in a room with like a different um, a professor who was there with like their third year students. Um, and like we were basically shadowing them for, I would say, like 20 to 30 minutes. And then students were taken on a tour and then the interview started, which like I thought was nice because it gave you like a little time to like talk with people. Right. And like, ease your anxiety down a little bit. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So I think that is different than, so we have Suzanne um, lobby for you. And it is to talk about, you know, she kept that interview first and then they're going to get the tool later on. So really depends on school to school. So um, there is no right or wrong way to, you know, do whatever the, the method is. So. Um, with the interviews, uh, is that like one faculty and then one student in the room with you, or how does that work? So at NYCPM, I was interviewed by um, the dean of the school with huh. um, a professor. So there was two of them and then me, and we were talking about basically like my application and stuff. And then I think directly after that, I met with a student who was like a student ambassador interviewing students. And she peppered me with, like, a lot of questions. Like, that was, like, Ooh. more stressful for me. I think it depends on the student you get. Just said, and, yeah. like, we talked a lot about a lot of things, but I was just, like, she's, like, how do you relieve stress? Like, like how are you going to, like, get used to city life? And I was, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I need to answer all these questions. Ooh. So, like, that, that just goes to show you that, like, the student interview is, like, just as important as mm -hmm. interview with the administration and professors. So with a student interview, is that more like, do, 
what what is the tone like? Like, do you have to act like really professional? Like versus like you have to be the dean. How how the anxiety level different between them? So, um, for me, I think I had more anxiety during that just because of how many questions there were. Um, but I know my roommate interviewed and like her interview, like she didn't even realize it was an interview because like they were just like talking about like country music and it was like super chill. So I think it just like depends on the student that's interviewing you. Mm -hmm. Um, and like how I guess like professional they want to be with the student, because I think if you're the type of student that like wants to gauge whether a student is a good fit for the school, like you can either do that very subtly or do it very intensely. So. Definitely. I think that the, the interview, I think one of the best interviews is when you're able to have a conversation instead of like a and a more uh, of the things that you can go back and forth. Um, wow. Um, so if you have, well, if you can leave one advice to, you know, anyone who are waiting for the interviews right now, what would you tell them? Um, I would say be yourself, but also prepare. And I'm sure it'll work out. If you got the interview, you just need to express your passion for the field and you will be fine. That is a solid advice right there. Well, thank you, Jay, for coming on to me tonight. I want to say thank you to all the mentors that come on the live with me every night from Monday to tonight. Uh, I really appreciate your help. And I want to thank audience for, for tuning in. Uh, this video will be published on uh, Halux Magazine website and um, Halux uh, Magazine Instagram. Uh, also, I want to thank you to Halux Magazine for giving us this opportunity. Um, other than that, have a great night, everyone. Thank Thank you, Trey. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Yep, night.